Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome to another Black Ops 2 Best Class video. And this is the 14th video in this series, and in this one we're going to be focusing on the best FAL class. So right, that's the introduction out of the way, now let's bring down the board for our pick 10 loadout. So right, before we get into this class, I just want to explain a bit about this game. So I'm playing some regular domination on the map hijacked. And this game, it's sort of a tale of two halves. In the first half, I managed to get over 40 kills and it was going great. And then the second half, the team sort of stood back and went upstairs and like camped out with their claymores and shock charges and uh, didn't really go for the objective. So unfortunately, it sort of ruined the momentum of the gameplay. But nevertheless, I really hope you enjoy the game. So right, now onto my primary, which is obviously the FAL OSW. Now, I've always called this the FAL just because it's easier, but if you want to know what the FAL OSW stands for, then I guess I'll put it on the screen so for those who are interested can see it. So right, the foul. Now this weapon is an absolute monster. I don't know if you remember a couple of months into the game, everyone used this with the full auto and uh, it got nerfed pretty quickly. And since then, I think the amount of people that have used it has dropped, but this weapon is still amazing. And with the perks and attachments that I've added to this gun, it makes for a really good rush slayer class. So if that's your kind of play style, then uh, you're gonna love this class. So, so right, let's get into my attachments. So first, I'm gonna be using the primary gunfighter wildcard. And I think that's the first time I've used it in this series. So my attachments are the red dot sight, the adjustable stock and quick draw. Now these three attachments turn a very good weapon into an absolute killing machine because these attachments help with the long range and close range gunfights as well. So you've got the reflex sight which is going to add increased precision, it adds accuracy and also it's removing that circle iron sight as well so having the reflex sight is going to allow you a nice clear view of the target. And the quick draw handle, because it is an assault rifle, the ADS time is quite slow, so this just helps it speed it up. And being able to aim onto the enemy as quickly as possible is definitely going to help you in those close range gunfights. And also the adjustable stop, because when you put it on a gun that's really good at long range, this gun takes three bullets to kill at its maximum range. And if you're strafing around a corner, already aiming down sight and someone's there, then you're going to have a better chance of surviving than if you were going to blindly walk around it unprepared. And that is it, these are my attachments. And if you're thinking that these attachments take quite a long time, like if you're not used to the foul, and you think you're gonna have to grind out all the levels, then don't. All these are unlocked at level seven, and in my opinion, easily the best attachments to use on the foul. And I know some people might be tempted to use the Select Fire. Um, I know that's one of the more popular ones to put on it, but I would advise against it, mainly because the recoil is increased, um, you fire 150 rounds per minute less, and also the two shot kill range is reduced as well, meaning you're gonna have to put three bullets into people at medium range. So I know it's tempting to put the select fire on because it's sort of like the easy way out you don't have to keep on hitting the fire button multiple times a second but if you are finding that you're not bringing them down fast enough that your trigger finger like just doesn't feel right and it's not on target then just keep going on with this class and after a few games you will get used to it and uh, you will be dominating in no time so right there are my attachments and now on to my perks and my first perk is lightweight now I love lightweight on assault rifles, just because without it you do feel like you're really heavy, you can't rush into the enemy spawn as fast, I wouldn't have been able to go on B and get a few capture kills at the start without it, and uh, not only that, it works really well with adjustable stock as well, being able to strafe a lot faster around corners, and just being able to strafe faster in general and move faster, it just helps so much with an assault rifle and uh, makes you a lot harder to hit. And uh, next I've got two perks tier 2, so I need perk 2 greed, and those perks are toughness and scavenger. Now toughness in my opinion is the best perk in the game and I have it on pretty much 95% of my classes. The only one I don't have it on I think is the R870 if I'm firing from the hip. But on pretty much anything else I have toughness on and especially with the foul class when every bullet counts and you want all them to go onto the target and you don't want to be flinching and uh, firing all over the place. And scavenger is needed because half of your pick 10 revolves around your guns so the last thing you want is you have to pick up another gun off the ground. That's probably the worst case scenario when using this class. So scavenger is there, you never run out of bullets and you can keep going on with these attachments for however long you can stay alive. And now for my final perk as we just go into the second round of this game is dexterity. Now as I said at the start, the way I like to use the foul is like in a rush slayer type role and just dexterity completes this perfectly because what your problem is with a foul in close quarters is trying to get your two bullets into the opponent faster than they can get three into you and since the SMGs average around 900 rounds per minute you're at a significant disadvantage so anything that can help you get your bullets into the opponent is going to help and with dexterity the ability to shoot faster after sprinting is definitely going to help you. So that is it guys, this is what I think is the best foul class and I really hope this class works for you guys and if you did enjoy the video uh, don't forget to leave a like rating and maybe a favourite if you think it's helped you out and looking forward to my next best class video, it's going to be the best nuclear class. So this is the one guys and if you are subscribed make sure you are to look forward to that so you don't miss it 
And just in this game now, unfortunately, it wasn't like the first round. I think the team just uh, give up trying to chase the win. And uh, they just stay upstairs and try and camp out for some easy kills, I think. But uh, luckily, I managed to go in and uh, clear it out. But yeah, I just thought showing this fall class on a map like Hijacked was just a really good test to see how good this class is on a close quarters map. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so anyway, guys, really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.